guys, it's me, Antoinette. So, I have a quick question for you. What do you do when you have an avocado, tomato, and zucchini, and also some uh, onion and garlic, and you're really hungry, and you want something fast? and you're a vegan, here's what you do. I'll show you in a sec. There are some onions, garlic, and sun-dried tomatoes that are sauteing in there. And I'm going to put that on top of some polenta with some chopped, avoc with some chopped avocado and chopped tomato and chopped zucchini and I will t show you what it turns into in about 15 minutes. Oh, you know what? I think I'm gonna add some tofu in there. Now, for some of you vegans that don't eat tofu and think that tofu is a bad thing, I got this from the organic uh, store, Lovive, here in Lyon, which is a bio uh, magasin. That means it's a organic store, grocery store. And I am going to turn that into some, just kind of like a little topping, a side dish. Okay, so this is the tofu here. It is Bio Saladea Organic Solidarity, which is it's certified agricultural uh, or agriculture biologic, which is certified organic. And here in France, Non-GMOs are like uh, are the norm for organic, and a GMO the GMO project is something that is respected here. And GMOs aren't allowed in this country. That's based on what I've learned since I've been here, which is an awesome thing. And so, let me show you what I'm gonna turn it into. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm seasoning it with a little bit of uh, Himalayan pink salt. I actually put it in this bowl. You can get it from any organic store, Whole Foods in America, Lovive here in France. I'm not sure about England, so you'll have to check that yourself or anywhere else, to be frank. Just most uh, organic food stores have it. You can get Himalayan salt. It's a nice flavor, better than uh, regular salt. And it is a, a nice little addition. So, okay, so I've uh, given that enough saute. Now I'm going to put in my zucchini. The zucchini I like al dente because I, I want to preserve all the nutrients that I can. And uh, now I'm going to boil some water in my second pot and I'm going to add some polenta, which is essentially it's, a, it's like a corn, it's like a corn style. You can turn it into polenta or you can make it kind of like a a porridge and that's what I'm gonna do I'm make, gonna make kind of like a porridge and for those of you who uh, those of you that don't eat um, corn you could substitute you could substitute brown rice rice or quinoa this is the polenta this is what it looks like it's probably about three euros or something like that in the store and, or you can, and it's really quick, you boil some water, pour it in there, and five minutes it's done. So that's what I'm gonna do now, and I will show you the results in a moment. So I'm gonna cut up my zucchini and saute that and make it al dente. That's an organic zucchini, so if I want to, I can keep the skin on, and I think I'm going to do that. So I've cut up the zucchini, as you can see, and uh, I'm gonna let it stir and saute a little bit. I'm gonna cover it Heat and cover it in a moment. And let it steam, steam through so it's not so hard. I like it al dente, it's gonna steam for a couple minutes. 
cover it with one of these cool little tops. This is something that I discovered here when I got here. These cool little tops, they're like, I think they're made of silicone or something like that. They're really cool. They, I found, I found that they are, these, they're very space, or space, I guess, the word would be maybe space conscious here. So this is pretty cool instead of like, like they don't really sell, it's like hard, they never sell like these pots. It's rare that you can find like a top like this. You know, you have to buy the top more so that you can find these. These are very frequent. If they're selling a pot, usually they're selling the pot, usually they're selling the pot by itself. In America, they sell the pot with a, t a lid. That's just like common sense, right? No, not here in France. They sell the pot separately and you have to find a top unless you're getting like a set or something like that. And uh, so here's the water, I'm boiling it. I'm gonna also add just a pinch of, of Himalayan sea, well Himalayan salt, because how does Himalayan and sea go together? I don't think they go together. So a pinch of the Himalayan pink salt here and let it boil. I actually added a couple pinches. Let it boil. And then I'm gonna toss my polenta in there and I will be ready to eat, y'all, in two minutes, uh, two minutes, I'll be ready to eat. And I will show you the final result. I'm gonna cut up my tomato and my avocado and we will have a fabo meal. I'll show you in a second. And voila, there you have it, a meal fit for a queen. Well, in my case, I'm gonna say a princess because I think queens might be a little bit, oh, outdated. So I'm gonna say princess. So this is a meal fit for a princess. All that with just an avocado, tomato, zucchini, and a melange of some refrigerated vegetables, or well, a melange of garlic, onion, some sun-dried tomato with tofu. That's it and you have a quick meal, 15 minutes, that's oh so good. And you know what? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna throw in some bread with that. I'm gonna slice up some, I'll show it to you. Here in France, they have what's called baguettes. I'm gonna slice up some baguette with it, so see it, it's a organic, certified organic, and it doesn't have any milk or dairy products in it, and it's made fresh. So I'm gonna cut some of that up and have some cracked pepper and olive oil with a little white balsamic vinegar on the side to top off my meal. So this is the final meal. This is all, all in a snap that quick. Got my fresh baguette, sesame baguette, with my like, cracked pepper, olive oil, and some white balsamic vinegar. And now it's time for me to say goodbye because mm, that, that is so good. And I gotta enjoy it instead of staring at you. So until the next time, I'll talk to you later. Cheers.